I'm a rescue diver and surfer, passionate about the ocean and back in 2016 when I was on the beach and I just saw like thousands of these tiny plastic balls. I started doing research, I'm like, what are these? The noodles are the first part of any plastic production. There are different types of noodles and these are made then into the different products. After some thorough investigation, I found that there was a spill of Durban Harbour and we had close to 185 metric tonnes, that cargo shipment that had fallen off the deck and it had spilt over our whole coastline. So I wrote a paper to the UNEP and it was accepted, so it's been discussed in Paris at the Plastic Pact, so I'm hoping that the world's gonna to come together and make this simple change, which is prevention rather than cure. Changing the IMDG code will enforce chemical industry to have to put them in sealed containers so shippers know that they're transporting this material. These noodles are catastrophic to the environment because once they're in the environment, they're highly toxic. There is enough plastic in our landfills and in our world that we have manufactured. We do not need to create any more. My mind never stops and I was like, I need to invent something that can help educate people about all these noodles on the beaches and at the same time clean them up. I came up with this idea the mermaid tear catcher, which is a sieving panning device. We put a unique code on it as well, so that people could actually track and log where they found the noodles, at which geographic location. It's just a, a great educational tool, as well as saving our marine life.